Hey guys, in today's From the Install Bay, we're going to show you a new product from my data link that allows you to keep your factor USB in a Dodge Ram, so stay tuned. So you just got yourself this brand new Dodge Ram, and you're all excited. And you lift up the armrest, and you see it has a USB and an aux jack in it. And you're like, oh my god, this is amazing. Cool. And then you go and you listen to this factory radio, and you go, man, this thing sounds terrible. I want to upgrade it. Well, I have this cool USB aux jack. I'll be able to retain all that. And you're going along thinking that, and you're, for the most part, you know, yay, excited. You pull the radio out, you notice it has this little micro USB 2 input, and you're thinking, dude, all I got to do is get an adapter, and I'll be able to retain that. And then you do, and you plug it in, and all of a sudden, it doesn't work. And you're like, oh my god, why doesn't it work? Well, because aftermarket radios aren't made to work through a USB hub. And that's exactly what this truck has, a USB hub. So, the guys at iDatalink, the makers of the Maestro, have come out with a solution called the URAM. Now what the URAM does, it comes with two products. It comes with this guy here, which is the adapter to go into the factory radio harness. So you can plug it in, you get a standard USB that will plug into your radio. And then it comes with this little guy right here, and this is the important piece. Okay, it's a circuit board. Now what this circuit board does is it replaces the factory USB circuit board. So you're going to take apart the armrest, pull that piece out, plug this in place, back in business. You have a fully functional USB input. So what we're going to do today is show you how to do that. How exciting, right? So let's get to it. Alright guys, so we got our center console here. This is where it's at. They're nice enough to give you some instructions. It's the exact same. It's 20 steps. How exciting. All right, so let's get to it. First thing we have to do is remove the cup holders. They're just going to pull right off. Next, we have to remove the cloth from around here so we can lift this up. Go ahead and unplug the harnesses. Now we have to push the retaining clips down. Alright, so once you get it out, you need to take this housing apart. Remove the two screws. All right, so now that we have the little doodad put back together, we're just going to reverse the process. So the last part of this puzzle is plugging in the factory USB. We have it here. We have our cool matching gray end. We click them, we're done. Good secure. This will plug into the back of our factory radio. Now all we have left to do is get the radio in and do some testing to make sure that it works. Okay, so this is the final test. We're gonna make sure everything works. Go ahead and plug it into the new USB hub. Okay. And we have CarPlay. Hey, look at that. We got CarPlay on the screen. Okay, so if you've got one of these cool Dodge Rams, pick up the cool new iDatalink product. Fernando, and so, the show, of course. Thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, if you like it, subscribe. If you have questions, ask. 
and otherwise have a great day, night, whatever, and we'll get we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>